This is Optimal Finance Daily, episode 2678. Conquer three critical early retirement challenges by redefining retirement. Part two, by Chris Mamula of caniretireyet.com. And I'm your host and personal finance enthusiast, Diana Merriam. Thanks so much for joining today and every day. If you're new here, this is where I read articles to you every day of the week so that you don't have to find and read them yourself. But today is a continuation from yesterday. So if you haven't done already, I'd recommend listening to yesterday's episode first. But if you're all caught up, then let's get right back into it and hear part two as we continue optimizing your life. Conquer three critical early retirement challenges by redefining retirement. Part two by Chris Mamula of caniretireyet.com. Defining retirement. Wikipedia defines retirement as the point where a person stops employment completely. Merriam-Webster defines retirement as withdrawal from one's position or occupation or from active working life. After many discussions about what we wanted our lives to look like, we realized we didn't need to accept society's definition and expectation of retirement any more than we accepted society's expectation that you work 40 plus hour work weeks until age 60 or older to reach retirement. Ultimately, I realized that all three of the biggest challenges we faced had the same solution. We needed to redefine retirement on our own terms. Looking outside of traditional retirement planning. Learning to be a better investor, tracking your spending, and understanding how economic and political conditions affect you are all important aspects of retirement planning. However, no matter how hard you work on it, how much you read, or how many times you crunch your numbers, you can never accurately predict all of the things that would be needed to provide a secure retirement. Traditional retirement planning can only take you so far. If you wanna retire early, you need to develop a robust strategy with flexibility. I found incorporating ideas outside of, and even critical of, traditional retirement planning to be very useful. This led to even more and better questions. I began reading books like Tim Ferriss's Four Hour Work Week that contain many ideas critical of retirement. One is, quote, retirement is predicated on the assumption that you dislike what you're doing during the most physical capable years of your life. This is a non-starter. Nothing can justify that sacrifice, end quote. Even in my case, where I liked aspects of my job and at times found it fulfilling, it had become drudgery. This book introduced me to ideas like lifestyle design and mini retirements as alternatives to traditional retirement. It challenged me to question my assumptions that I need to have X amount of money in the bank to start living the life I really want. How could I start living a life more in alignment with my values as soon as possible? I also read books about finding purpose and meaning in life. Probably none is better than Viktor Frankl's Man's Search for Meaning. Frankel survived deplorable conditions and Nazi concentration camps. He credits his survival and the survival of others in the camps to finding meaning and purpose in day-to-day life in the camps. He personally accomplished this through helping and serving others and constantly dreaming of reuniting with his wife from whom he was forcefully separated. This challenged me to ask myself how he could find meaning and purpose while living in these horrible conditions while I was struggling to do so living a successful American lifestyle. What did I need to find happiness and fulfillment? I realized that part of the answer was to re-examine the role of work in my life. I reread a book that was very influential when starting my career that I regularly have given to students who have interned with me over my career. Dan Miller's 48 Days to the Work You Love. A key takeaway on my second time through this book was the difference between having a job and a calling. Miller writes, quote, a job should not define who or what you are. You should be able to leave today and not change the overall purpose or direction of your life. Your calling is a much larger concept than what you do daily to create income. Work opportunities can come and go. The direction of your life should remain constant, end quote. What is my calling in life? Redefining retirement. Darrow provided his definition of early retirement early on in this blog's existence. It contained a key idea that was central to our challenges. Quote, when you look at the numbers, 
and the futility of predicting future economic cycles, I think it's very difficult and not at all that beneficial to design a life with no work at all. For me, it's more about financial independence and choosing my own work, end quote. The solution to all of our challenges was to redefine retirement on our own terms. We needed to develop our own plan that would give us more flexibility with our time while continuing to allow us to live with a feeling of security and abundance that we value. Part of our plan is continuing to do work when it's rewarding, challenging, and or fun while fitting into our desired lifestyle and moving us towards our longer-term goals. Simply changing our definition of retirement to incorporate paid work allowed us to overcome challenges that seemed insurmountable with traditional retirement planning. Incorporating a plan to make even small amounts of income drastically changed the math in the retirement planning equation, allowing me to retire sooner and with less anxiety and stress. Doing meaningful work can also provide purpose to -to day-to-day life and increase opportunities for social connection. I'm sure there are people hearing this who will challenge me and say that I'm not really retiring. Let me agree that I'm not allowing anyone else to define how I'll live my life. The simple realization that you don't have to live by anyone else's definition of retirement gave me the courage to leave a good job at 41 years of age to pursue a path that I find more interesting, challenging, fun, and in alignment with my personal values. What's holding you back? And how can you redefine retirement to make the goal attainable sooner than you may have imagined? You just listened to part two of the post titled Conquer Three Critical Early Retirement Challenges by Redefining Retirement by Chris Mamula of CanIRetireYet.com. And I'll be right back with my commentary. This article highlighted for me why the word retirement can be pretty challenging for many people. When most of us hear the word retirement, we understand it to mean no longer working. But my involvement in the FIRE community has led me to reinterpret this word. To me, retirement is much more about separating your finances from your work, not abandoning work altogether. Satisfying work is one of the great joys of life. And whether you retire at 30 or 65, why would you deprive yourself of that? The big difference between working during your accumulation years and working during your FIRE or retirement years is based on financial need. Before reaching FI, you're working to pay the bills, save, and otherwise fund your lifestyle. After FIRE, you're working if, when, and where you want with no concern for the money. Oftentimes, hobbies or businesses you create can produce an income, and you'll want them to so that you can at least cover your costs for the work you're doing. However, the work you get to do when you no longer need an income to cover your living expenses can bring a satisfaction you may never have experienced when you were required to work for money. Many studies have linked retirement with a decline in health because many people spend their retirement not doing anything that looks like work and wasting away with nothing to do. Yes, there will be and should be periods of extended rest and recuperation in retirement, but if you don't find a useful way to spend your time, you'll most likely end up lonely and depressed. That being said, regardless of your age, if you anticipate your retirement to look like sitting around and doing nothing all day, I'd encourage you to not retire at all. But that's gonna do it for today. Thanks so much for being here every day. And I'll see you tomorrow for more Optimal Finance Daily, where your optimal life awaits.